So we finished our brown, the accent color you might call it, and now we're going to be doing the same thing with this tan. I already poured it out so we didn't have to cut and do all of that stuff. So same thing as before, grab a sponge, dab off excess or else you're going to have a mess. Start adding accents. Our last color is going to be black. We're going to add a little bit in here and there to spice it up, give it a little bit of flair. Who knows? Same thing as before. But this time, we're using a lot less. You don't have to do four colors. You can do two, you can do one, you can do three, you can do none. Up to you. All right, so we're back for day three of our painting project here. We've let it flash overnight so everything's nice, hard, sealed, that kind of stuff. Uh, paint actually takes longer to dry than what you actually think. It says dry within 30 minutes. It's only dry to touch, it's not actually dry. It takes a few weeks for paint to actually dry. So, uh, well, the first thing we gotta do is we gotta remove our taped off areas except for a mag. We're not gonna move the tape from a mag because it's it won't match up with the actual magazine. So we're gonna pick it up for buttstock. That yeah, actually turned out pretty good. A little bit better than I thought it would. Because our paint so, uh, paint tape decided to fall off part way through. Take it off of our grips. We'll go kinda slowly just to, just in case it snags somewhere and starts peeling paint with it. It shouldn't, but it might. Same thing for this side. I would say we, we would auction this awesome thing off, but there's not enough here yet. Maybe later. Well, that turned out pretty good, the looks of it, so we're going to apply a clear coat. So one last thing I want to show you before we uh, clear coat. Well, we painted the letters of the Mossberg black, just so it pops. It gives a little bit of something. And don't forget, do not remove the tape from your magazine if you're doing the same thing. Because you'll have clear coat on this part and no clear coat on the other part. Alright, so... We're using Rust-Oleum Ultra Cover 2X Matte Clear. It came from Walmart. You can get it there probably. Any hardware store should have it. And so we're going to do light coats because, what can I say, clear coat's hard. And you want to stay at the same angle that face is facing you. So we're going to start far away, a little bit at a time. One tip we have is suspending your, your parts to paint them. If they're suspended, you can do the whole thing at once. You can rotate it, so on. Uh, you can do it however you want. We did it with wire suspended by paracord. 
through the holes. It works good. You just gotta be careful of this hole right here uh, because we. Oh, you have paint there. You have cord, cord. You have wire right next to the paint. Uh, this one I'm not so worried about because this part's going inside there. So just paint it up. And here we are with the finished Mossberg 715T. After it's been painted, reassembled, got the sights and everything back on it. I think it looks pretty good. I'm happy with it. So, I give these guys a thumbs up. Now, if you'd like, you can click on the left link and you'll show shooting video, or you can click on the right link and it'll take you back to part one.